people, 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 people. Que pasa, suck, pasé, what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news, it is called Mix Up, Pasa, Pasa, Popo, Corruption, Gangsterism and Family Dispute Mixed Up in One. Now I am speaking specifically about a place that is called Seaforts and that is in St. Thomas. And I am speaking about a family whose name the leader or the female or the mother of that family is called Tiny. And then a next family that involves a lady that lost her son on the 2nd of January 2022. That young man's name is Jermaine, Jermaine Spencer O.C. A.K.A. Postface. Now people... Another person lost their life last week, Friday gone, sorry. And then Postface had lost his life on January 2nd, 2022. So therefore, two persons in less than a week. Now when I did that story yesterday, I said that the name Postface describes somebody that might be some sort of crook, some sort of thief because of the name Post. You know what I'm talking about, Post, Post a thief. So anyway, Puss lost his life on the 2nd of January 2022. However, when I did that story, the mother of said person, she contacted me. She does not live in Jamaica. She lives overseas and she told me that, listen, I did not like the way that you described my son because my son is a humble youth. My son is not involved in any sorts of pasa pasa, mix up, rete, lele. He was an innocent youth. Now people, based on the information, it is said that this family, the lady of the son that lost his life, Postface, and a family whose the matriarch is called Miss Tiny, they've been having disputes from 2014. 2018, the lady from foreign, Postface, was said to be the suspect in the takeaway of one of the family members of Tiny. He was charged. He was released because of lack of evidence. Based on what the mother said, the mother of Postface, she said that her son was released because he was not guilty. And it was the stepfather of Tiny. Tiny's man, the stepfather of her child, that basically took him out because of some sort of dispute over land, some sort of dispute over toll. Now people, when this lady spoke, she spoke as if her son is not involved in any sorts of things. However, she also has a next son. That next son and the son named Postface, they were always in some sort of disputes. Now people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not saying that their names was not mixed up in any sorts of thing wrongfully. I am not saying that they are guilty of any such thing. However, their name was called up on several occasions. As a matter of fact, the poor poor went on several occasions to take away Postface when he was released from jail. However, him kind of take away himself. Now people, this mother is trying to explain that based on what the poor poor is saying, this is not any sort of gang activity. This is what we call family feud between two family sets of family that has been going on from 2014, like I said. So therefore, the Popo made it seem as if there was some sort of gang feud as it pertains to blacksmith lane and also love all lane. But it is mostly family dispute between two sets of family. And based on what this lady is saying, the Popo is taken up for Tiny's family because Tiny's family have all sorts of drug people. So therefore, the Popo is taking bribe. The Popo is taking side. And they know that their family or her family is not involved in any sorts of thing. But people like them say, wherever there is smoke, there is fire. And that is speaking generally. I don't know if this applies to the case as it pertains to this lady and her son that lost his life. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to exactly what she has to say. And then let me know in the comment section if you think that she is taken up for her son. If you think that the son is innocent or if you think that there is some sort of smoke and fire going on here. And people, let me know if you want to hear part two because like i said she sent me several voice notes this first voice note is about 26 minutes long however it is very interested every second every minute so people take a listen take a look and then let me know what you think in the comment section 
Good evening, good evening, good evening world. I just want the world to know the truth about what's going on in Seafort between Blacksmith Lane and Lovell Lane. The media want to make it look like is a gang war going on, but it's not true. Even the police in Seafort and in Marant Bay know that it's not no gang flus going on in Seafort. In 2018, my son was charged for a murder in Seafort. Based on the nature of the case, the case was thrown out of the court because there was no evidence and all them ballistic reports and whatsoever, they have, they have no evidence to, to say my son commit that murder. The guy that was murdered, I heard that him and his father, his stepfather, did in a some fiction about gun and about land. His stepfather said he was the last person who would see him the night when he died, a couple minutes before he died. The mother of the disease, he needed Cajintan, tiny. Call a friend in the United States and tell the friend that our man, our ex man, then kill our son. The friend that he call, call me same time and tell me, say it me no year, say. The guy dead. We said, no, me no hear anything because me dear work, me no hear nothing at all. And the girl tell me, say, yes, because the mother of the deceased call her in the United States and tell him, say, our man, our ex-man, that are the boy's stepfather, the deceased man's stepfather, mm. killing son. Mm. Anyway, mm. my son was the one Oh, them start to spread propaganda say him kill the boy because we them have a we have a long time dispute between one other son me have and my daughter, which my daughter was um take sick by of um here's this weird disease and call it meningitis or what ever name it is and she end up sick and she died at the age of 17 year old and I went back to Jamaica and bury her in 2015 but is it in 2014 we have some fiction going on with this family that is tiny and our children them and my children them Anyway, we move away, we move on from that, in, move on from that, until the son involved in a whole past, whole past different, different things, our son involved in her. The son even a brother with charge for murder. The son, the deceased man would die, people in the community have all sorts of things. We talk about him. Robbery. Shooting. He said he chopped down much in here. Coffee. He involved in a lot of things. Taking away a gun from man. And all sorts of something. He involved in her. But when he dead. It pointed to my son. Um, Say my son kill him. Well anyway. We, 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 the case thrown out of the court. The mother of the deceased, Enid Kajintan Tiny, 
say me when me come a Jamaica, all sort of trick between him and she and one of her other son. And the son friend them. And there is a teacher who teach at the Seaford High School. Of a son who involved with these gangster in blacksmith lane. Because he was a gangster too. One day I was going out a road. And I saw him at a shop. And he turned and said to the rest of man them at the shop door. A, he said something bad about me. And my reply was, your mama. A your mama. So anyway, he pointed finger to me and lit blank. Cause it wasn't a gun. I just him put his finger in a the gun in a, a sign of a gun and bam 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 bam. So that is a threat to me. So I went to the police station and I make a report. And I don't know if the police them see him or anything, but I did and make a report because of that was a threat. So anyway. Is from that time until now. Until now. It's going on. I heard that the teacher, man, son was picked up by police. And the same day, or maybe two days before, or a day before, them sent gunman to come kill me. But when the gunman come and kicked me gate, it was on only my daughter was there. And then couldn't go in. The person couldn't go in because when he kicked the gate, he'd have to kick it again. And then nice would have make, so the person run out. Me here said the person go in our next door yard, nearby yard, because they were on, um, taking off block off our one chop because he maybe believe, say, my daughter don't make a whole pan nice and people that see him, so he turned in at the person yard. Anyway, Moving away from that, I went to this Mark Bay police station and I make a report. When my daughter called me, I, let my, I spoke to the superintendent of police down there and I spoke to them. Anyway, this Enid Kajintan son get bail. I don't know what, what charge, but I heard that it's some murder charge or something, him on and out. So he planned with these arrival from Blacksmith Lane and team up and come and shoot up my family. That is one of my nephew. Two times my nephew, my, both of my nephew, one of my nephew were shoot up and he didn't, two of them they shoot up first and they didn't die. And they come back one Sunday in a middle broad day and see my nephew again and much of them run him down and shoot him up, but thank God he never did. So them say, Tiny, him have to kill back somebody for me. She tell me, say, she alone not bury no dead. Me have to bury back dead. And she wash and dirty clothes and throw a partner, save her money, and she have a pay man for kill back somebody for me. Cause she alone not bury no dead. I went to the Seaford police station. I lay a report then give me a piece of receipt. I go to the Mark Bay police station and I make several complaints down there. I even spoke to Indicom about these things. Each time when you go to the station, I make a report because you have two DC police there where them not talk to me because them said me are the enemy. You understand me? They said me are the enemy, so they not talk to me. So if me go to the station and me see them, me just turn back out because me can't nobody go talk to them. Cause they not, they not listen to me. It's only if I go there and see an inspector or a soup and I was, or, or a sergeant or so. They will maybe sit to, cause I remember at one point when I went to the station, he was, one of the DC was there. And he ate me like pies and I saw him eat me pit them. Cause even the time when my son get away after of the murder case, I heard one of the boys, the same young man, them from Blacksmith Lane, say, when me a pass, I go shop. I tell the rest of them, say, you know, you know, yeah, where I don't want to call it, the DC them name. You don't hear where them, where, where, the, where the police boy say, eh, uno make, uno make, my son get where. Han, fi come, come kill them. 
But I hope they kill him first before they make him come, come kill them. That's what one of the boys say when he see me a pass and the police say, come on, they can tell him to what he see, tell them that. So you see, a peer corruption in the system. The boy, them a black simulian is untouchable. You can't touch them. The police know about them long time, about the gun, them and, the, and everything we are going around there. They call themselves the six six. The one way they say are the are the contract killer. He say in name well, kill and collect, smoke and forget. As some here they call him. Okay, he say that one they say my contract killer. Everybody know him. the police them know him because a whole pass made him make up in a sea fort. You have two murder back of one another. A him do the murder. Everybody know. Them know. Because him are the contract killer. Him in a mind never shoot up to. And the police they want him. But you because him have police family. They not hunt him. They no business with him. Because he passed a slung up on roadside. And I say oh this is a boy you wanted. to shoot up me never and slung up on roadside. Yes, so. And police passing go up and pal police car passing come up me I wonder maybe they don't know him. But because he have a family where police where he used to work at Seaford police station, they not trouble them. Ask any police in a Seaford, I born there. I born there. I never hear from me a grow up a Seaford. Say police carry down nobody where they wall up off and never lane with a gun. Or even go up there go find one gun in a nobody place and lock up nobody for no gun. But black simply now they saw the whole of the gun them there. But they're afraid because they know. So they can't touch them the boy they're on there. They say they no job. Then they no work. They untouchable. So I'm saying this. This is the corruption the country are face. You can't go tell police nothing. Else you're dead by a morning. Cause who you go tell? The police say you tell, I go tell back who you tell. Cause some of them are contract killer too. Because from my son dead Sunday, you have police that terrorize my other two son them, especially one, I tell him say, if he run away from Seaford, or him or kill him. That is the threat that my son get in. Say so if you run from Seaford, as him, the police tell him, say him or kill him. And my son, he not do nothing. More than them leave and I hide for their life. Because the gunman them from Blacksmith Lane have the whole of them pan target. The whole of my family them pan target. So they go and kill them out one by one. Because of the murder when they accuse my son for and he get rid of the case. And that's where it come from is no gang. Because the tiny Enid Kajintan in the name of the government book and all now for my son dead. No police no go to her. 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 Because they have their family where they push drugs. Police know about it. See if what police they know about it. But they must shield them. Because they have a cut for pay. Some of them are pay a big rent. Some of them as your quintess see the kind of car where they might drive. The government of Jamaica. I'm calling on the government of Jamaica. Take out the dirty police, them out of the force. Then come you sit to serve. And then come to protect. But them are protect the gunman them. And them them are protect. And them themselves, some of them some of them, not all of them. Some of them are dangerous criminals. Some of them, and them I do the robbery and kill people when night come. It made me think back on one day for police kill my son too. Because they don't like me and they don't like me picking them. Because me always a cuss and when they come and I trouble, me picking them, me always I tell them the truth. Always I tell them the truth. Because they see me know and I know about them. In a sea fort because I see them. If you go down on the station here sometime, in a couple, maybe a couple years ago, if you want to talk to one inspector, you have to find him in the rum bar. 
If you want to talk to one in the inspector for the police station, yeah, go find him which party drink up on the round robin there. Or in the funny bar stool. My God. Prime Minister Andrew Wallis. Andrew Wallis. Send some undercover. I call other country, the US, other country for help you fight the crime in Jamaica. This is a disease and it have to go. But it have to start from clean up the police force. Get them out. I will figure a prison, go a prison. When them thieves say them thief and stop say them theft. When then you you not call them criminal, call them murderer when they wrong. But you you not call my child murderer. You not call the next man pick the murderer. But you go call them criminal. Them no criminal. Them a murderer. I want the world to know what this I come from with my family right now. None of my family then can't walk on road. None of my family then can't be seen. Can you have the man them I work with all the man them and I say, boy, I'm just the girl pass down your I'm just the boy pass down your If you don't mind chop, your head back look out. And you know what the greatest thing? The police pick them up, dare you them, and let them go back. Yes. And that thing do with the criminal. Because one of the guys when we get to understand say not the criminal in in the, the the shooting where they did it when my son gets shot. Me I said then take him up, go run and yeah, take him up and dear you I'm letting go back. Me see them say they want my son pan shooting. And you know what? Police say them I'll put up in picture. Right? Say them I'll put up in picture. Pan T V say wanted. That time he no wanted. He man no wanted man. Me send him to one lawyer and tell him, say, go get the lawyer, carry me in. Because them plan for kill him, cause money run pan head for kill him. For pay for kill him. Because they say, kill people family. So true, they have their money and then drugs money, they a pay police to kill him. My story long. My story no short. The whole of my family them have to run for out of sea foot. The whole of them have to run away. Because of the gunman them and the police they guy police they not do nothing about it. Me have to take shelter, me have to pick them when the incident go on at a friend house. And you know the police then come say? Where well, we left we yard and our people yard. Cause the bitch them be sorry, my language. The police then want to stay our yard for we dead too. That they did want. After they come and tell me that, I say, you left your yard and there are people yard. Where you left your yard for? They, you know, say, you police, the police and police know, say, gunman go yard, go kick me gate, go in for kill me, pick me and kill me. Where you go hawk, sir? Where am I do they? Where am I do you left your yard and there are people yard? Eh? And then they target now. And the silly family, then the gunman are target and the police, them are target. They not target the killer them. And the people that we are make the problem. The boy and his friend, um, tiny, that are in it, Kajintan, son them. One come from prison because one go to prison for chop me son. One go to prison and come back for chop me son. And him come back with some man from overlights. And have the gunman them in a blacksmith lane. And the police then know. The police then hold one of the gunmen with the next two gunmen pan them a video. Everybody supposed to see that video. With the man then with them wall. And then take the two gun off of them. You know what they do? Let go the next man with them find a gun with him because the next boy related to police. They let him go. They send him home. The great spider. They send him spider. Cause he related to police. The one, the prime minister and the commissioner of police to get that, 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 that vice note here. Me want the commissioner of police to get this vice note. And me want it there all over the world. To see where people are go through. Jamaica. Government, prime minister, you can't manage the country. Call help. 
you will get help. Call help. We don't call help and get help to do this. Why we don't want to call help and get rid of this boy? This boy. Eh? We don't call help to do this. Till boom drop down and hit the valley and we don't say nothing to go so. And it, we don't know say it go so. Call help. You need help. No shame for call help. Call help. Because Jamaica gone to the dog. It's what you control. Mr. Prime Minister, we love you. But you have to do something more. You have to do something more. You have to do something more. And the more what you have to do is get rid of the police them and the, the police them where you take bribe and I take money and I make the criminal them a walk. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Give them some stiff penalty of them to get 50 years and 100 years of prison like how America do it. Cause they come to protect and serve. And if they forfeit that, and you catch them from bribe, and them the police, they forget all 50 and 60 years of prison. Mr. Prime Minister, you need to do something. <coughs> Make Indy come do them work. Make Indy come give them, do them work and give the Indy come them power to do their work. Because when you not take away the power from Indy come, I saw the police them behave. And them are the, they, they, some of them going to the force just to kill people. Because they have some long time grievance that carry from family generation with a side of family there. So they get the gun now. And then come back and kill people. And if they not come, they send them friend or them crown if you kill people. And that a go on. And enough of them have the contract killing and kill people. Just like how some of them in a seafood right now, they pan contract to kill me pick them down a St. Thomas. Seafood. Yeah. About two weeks ago, police girl of all and go tell me son say if he run away. He man in a stay a see if what he more kill him. When he run away, go on them born and grow. Me no know no other parish. Them no know no other parish cause we no go nowhere with them. Me no know no other parish away from St. Thomas and then we born and grow. And then we born and grow. I don't know no other parish if a man tell me, say, ask me how St. Mary's here, I tell him, say, I like her, he can't tell me. Because one time I go down to St. Mary from me, I look up at me. But Prime Minister, you need to do something. You do, 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 need to do something about the crime where the germs, these are germs, it's bad and corona. In a Jamaica right now. You have to listen to the people, them. Listen to the poor people, them. Listen to them. Prime Minister, listen to the poor people, them. Listen to them. When police go kill some of them, you know, say, listen to them. Make him the come take a charge of them because some of them are contract kill like police, them. Listen to them. You hear you need justice and nothing behind it. Mr. Prime Minister, I'm calling. I'm in the United States and I'm calling and my beautiful country, my beautiful land. And we want it back from the hands of them gunmen and them terrorists. Yeah. My son, when they kill him, no criminal. We don't care investigate him in a sea fort. Investigate him. No criminal. He man no criminal in nobody nothing. But they say they can't catch Kwaku, so they catch his shot. And eating in Kajintan tiny tell me say more pay a man for kill me pitney and it's in the government book as if for police station and it be a marrant be a police station it in the government book and not not done about it for my son kill all now tiny no get whole lamp on tiny no get whole lamp on for go question him <coughs> but you don't know what left everything in a father God on everything is in a God on I mean, no, there's a dear when them have to give answer for everything we then do. So me just left everything in God's hand. So, the true story is no gang war in Seaford. No gang war. One set of family said them are going to kill out one set of family. He need Kajintan Tiny. 
she is the mother of the deceased man when they said my son kill. And everything stemming from right there. Right there. Me have a berry box, Maddy. I see them bury my son. Me have a bury my son. Because I can't track him in. Can't track him in. If kill my son, tiny. He need to catch him. Can't track him in. For my son. Because he can't catch quack with him catching shot. Me are the mother. I mean, know everything. I mean, know me. I say, cause every minute me run go on a station, go and talk. Every minute when they see me, they check me, me go at the station and go make a report. And it's in the book, you don't see for it. It can't come out of the book. It's in the book. We don't need to send, send him the command some bigger head people, them, over there, like a police boy, they will take, go take, take, um, drugs money and blood money. And I cover down everything. And I talk about gang war. So when they talk about gang war, now they just kill people. And you hear the police are investigate and nothing, and nothing behind it. No gang war. They know where it come from. They know where it come from. So, if you don't want the truth, see the truth may go now there. And the truth is out there. Bless.